is finally time to go through my most recent finished sketchbook. Whoa, pew, 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 wow, wow. <laughs> Welcome to this video. Um, next in the series and the, the last one for a while, uh, a sketchbook tour. This is my last sketchbook, sketchbook number 31. Wow, I painted the cover. Uh, I actually did a video of this, uh, so you can watch it if you wanna. Cause I had a lot of fun painting it. Uh, it looks like a uh, superhero comic cover. But yeah, so today we're gonna be going through this sketchbook. It's probably one of my favorite sketchbooks, probably because it's the most recent and I worked really hard on it. I spent a long time on this book, a long time. <laughs> That's what we're gonna be doing today. Stick around if you wanna see a lot of doodles of random people. Yes, so this is the Artica sketchbook. You can find them on Amazon. I don't know, it's like 20 by 20 or something. Um, I got it for a really good price. Well I, well, I consider a good price. It's a good sketchbook. It held up considering how much crap I've put through this, but this has probably been my favorite sketchbook. I like the size. Um, I like the paper. It's multimedia paper, I believe. Um, so I got a second one. Uh, spoilers. Oh, oh, did you see that? Oh, oh, that's next week's video, hopefully. Uh, it, that's my next sketchbook. It's the same brand, same size and everything. Um, yeah, so let's go through it. So on the cover, it's Mothman in space because I have an obsession with both. And it goes onto the other side. And on the spine, it has sketchbook number 31. And opening it up, it's more Mothman in space. I remember drawing this in the middle of the night. I finished, I started this sketchbook in August and finished it in February. It's now March. <laughs> this is some prior planning to what I did. So we got some sketches of the uh, cover page. I didn't, oh, I did do a little sketch of the, the cover page and then the, the actual cover. To be honest, I kind of like this better than the, the finished painting. I like this. Just it's not that, but I still think they're cute. Here we got some sketchbooks that have been stuck in. Uh, this is for a story idea that I have, um, called Metamorph or something. I'm not really sure. It's a butterfly theme. We got some tags in here, Kropi, because I have issues. Monster High tag as well, because I have issues and lots of sketches. More sketches of some of those characters. She is awesome. Got other characters from different stories. I also like to put a lot of stickers in there. Just to fill out space. You'll see that a lot. So this is sort of the first drawing that I actually did. I actually did this before the cover page. Um, It's fine. I like this. I don't really like the grayscale of it. I was just sort of testing out my markers and it held up pretty well. I was also doing a little bit of like different kind of shading. And I like it. I like it. Here we got some pencil drawings. Here we got, I actually had a dream about Luz and Amity from the Owl House. Uh, these were not really what the outfits were like. I redrew them on a different piece of paper that I no longer have. Unfortunately, I did take a photo of it, but this was what I drew for some reason. I don't really remember what that dream was about. Uh, here we have a moth character and the old, the, the newer rainbow tape design. I don't know. Here we got more of that moth character. Uh, you'll also notice bits of paint. Bits of paint, yeah, sure. Big chunks of paint that I've ripped off a palette and stuck into here. Uh, we also have Rail Riker from Star Trek Next Generation, because I am a Trekkie. Also have a random sketch here, but it's been covered up by the marker. I don't know if you can see that. And we got Rosalie. 
Rosalie, Rosalie. Rosalie. And Lily. I'm not gonna tell you about Lily. <laughs> Rosa. Rosa, Rosa. Got lots of sketches and drawings of Rosa. She has more outfits than this. She has a lot more. This one's the sort of main one. I actually made a doll of this one. My favorite drawing out of all these would have to be these two. I don't know. It best matches her personality and how she like changed from like insecure to more angry character stuff. But we also got some other sketches that I'm not going to really talk about. Uh, we also got some older sketches of Rosa. Here I was going to do more drawings on Rosa on this these pages, but then I'm just like, I don't really feel like it. So I stuck in these two sketches that I did in the middle of class. Here we got a random page. I was doing a sort of perspective thing, but I didn't like it, so I stopped. And I stuck a whole bunch of Among Us stamps uh, and stickers in it. Here we got some axes and roses. That's that big drawing. I think I showed it in another video. We got a Wednesday Adams. And we got me! Also, more Among Us. Lots of stickers. We got some more me. I was working on an animation for class. Uh, I ended up not doing it. We got more sketches randomly. Got some Among Us. I have an Among Us problem. I will admit that. Here we got some color swatching. Not very important. We got a sketch of me. Got some perspective and sketches for some bigger drawings. This one I did. I didn't do the other two. Here we got a couple more sketches underneath a bunch of stickers. I didn't really do much. Uh, this one was for a larger drawing. I did actually uh, end up going with this or at least something similar. Uh, I ended up not liking it. <laughs> uh, we got some creepy drawings of like, I guess, moth creatures. I think it's like scary moth man. I don't know. Um. More sketches, more sketches of me. I've been trying to do more self-portraits. This is like more of what I look like, or when I had longer hair, I cut it. Cut it again. Um, I actually really like this. This was fun to do. I was also going through a moment. I'm fine, don't worry. <laughs> uh, we got some sketches. So we got Princess Rosalina, we got another Princess Rosalina, and then one armed girl. I really like this sketch. It was fun to do. Some stickers and prints. Ooh! This is one of my superhero characters. She has like sort of levitating powers. She's cool. I like her. And I don't know what this is, but I didn't finish it. But that's fine. I don't really care. Another superhero character. She, uh, her name is Maine Coon. She can turn into a giant cat and also talk to cats, I guess. Uh, got a couple more sketches. There's a Rosalie in there. Not a Rosalie. It's a Rosa. Oh my gosh! I'm a disgrace. Here we got some Monster Girl sketches. Oh no, I've forgotten her name. How have I forgotten her name? Anyway, she's a succubus. She's one of the main characters of a monster story. And... This is for a future video. It's a Star Wars video. Not really important. But <laughs> yeah, so I was trying out some sketches of this character. Oh, we got another self-portrait of me. That's when I cut my hair short again. We also got a lot of sticky note sketches and more stickers. Uh, I really enjoyed these. Oh, we got some of my fire girl character drawings, and then we got pictures of Stolas that I remember I drew in the middle of socials class. <laughs> and I drew these in, once in the middle of the night. They're with, uh, uh, just, like, Crayola pen. Crayola marker. Princesses. Got some more monster characters. Some of them. This one is no longer with us. Neither is that one. <laughs> 
uh, got a moth character, but you kind of can't see it. Got some stickers and tags. There's that moth character again. Uh, my dad and I were doing a challenge where we drew ourselves as monsters. I don't know. That's what I came up with. Because, you know, moth. <laughs> Uh, but then we got some storyboards. I was in a comic book class in school, and I was doing my monster character story. Um, yeah, these aren't very interesting. Just, like, ideas, sketches. This goes on for a few pages, but we also got... These are the final characters. Uh, these are sort of more, like, chibi sketches of them. These were, like some of the original designs. Uh, this, these two are not with us anymore. They're probably going to be side characters. This one also kind of isn't, but also is. He's right there. <laughs> uh, here we got my favorite one, other than the succubus girl. Uh, she's quite literally made of jello. I love her. Is it her plane outside? Got another art print. I don't know who made these. Um, my boyfriend, he just had these prints. He's like, hey, you want them? I'm like, yeah, give them to me. So I took them. Uh, then we got a uh, little painting of a sad little cat. Um, I think I did this as a TikTok and Instagram reel. So if you want to see me paint this, then feel free to go to my socials. Uh, we got more storyboards. <laughs> this one's my favorite. More storyboards. I got some moth sketches for an idea of a uh, little mini figure, I guess. More storyboards. More storyboards. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget this is here. I just stuck in this random body and then other stuff. But anyway, more storyboards. More storyboards. This is one of my friend's characters that I sketched out. Ooh, this is my um, sort of angel character. This is her more biblically accurate angel form. This is sort of what she looks like. I have a better drawing of her. <laughs> She's so pretty. Um, it's her story that me and my girlfriend are working on. This page isn't very interesting. We got some twisty cane. I actually made a little pony figure of her this thing. I'm not a huge fan of it. I prefer this one a little bit. I prefer the drawing. I, I'll usually prefer the drawing. But then we also got some sketches of other characters. I don't know. I just to stuck them in there. Here we got some more doodles and more stickers. Nothing really of interest here. These are some sketches of my other partner. Um, I like this one the best. It's more of a realistic portrait of them. And they drew this of me. <laughs> yeah. Got some more storyboards and some more sketches. I don't know. This is some layout stuff for the comic. More layout stuff. Even more layout stuff. And then it goes into some more sketches and pasted in things. And then we have a page of these uh, elves that I painted. Uh, I really did not enjoy this. I usually like painting. I enjoyed the other paintings that I did in the sketchbook. There's more coming up. But this one I just did not have fun with. And I don't really like them that much. In the end, I'm just like, I need, I want to get this over with. This was like the last thing in my sketchbook that I did. And I just don't like it. They just don't look very good. Okay, I didn't draw this. My friend drew this. He's very professional. <laughs> uh, but I drew this. Just the comparison between wolf characters, I guess. Here we got some Jinx and Vi from Arcane. And then this page is just covered in paint. I just had a whole bunch of extra paint. I'm like, I don't want to waste this. So I stuck it onto here. And that that's all that I can say. Here we got some random sketches. So with some watercolors. And then we got some planning for 
my Christmas witch character. We got more planning for that. I love this sketch of the cat. More planning. This is sort of planning, sort of layout stuff, but this we got some pasted in sketches of some of my characters. And here's the final Christmas witch drawing. Um, I forget her name, but I love her cat and her cauldron is all hot chocolate. <laughs> I like that. Here we got some more sketches on post-it notes. I like this one the best of Heather. Um, then we got some random sketches of someone, I don't know, out of my brain. Here's some planning for um, a crochet cardigan that I'm making right now. Sort of like what the size of the square. I'm working on this right now. I will make a video of it. It's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, more random sketches and more sort of planning. More sketches. I like this sketch. More sketches. I don't like this page very much. It's kind of boring. But and underneath you can see I tried to redraw the faces. Don't like these pages either, but we got Rosa and Bella. This is not in my style and I don't really like it. Well, we got more sketches. I like this. I liked it until I colored it. I don't like it anymore. Um, but here we got some more sketches of Heather and Lily and a random girl. Here's the other painting. I really like this painting. This is one of my elf characters. Um, let's get up closer. She has like blue in her hair. I've seen that for like highlights and stuff. And I thought it looked really good. I don't like these sketches though. They're not very important. I, I love this. I had a lot of fun painting that. Um, on this page we got more sketches. I drew this on another piece of paper. I really like this witch character. Uh, this is when it started... 2023. A lot of the doodles on post-it notes and stuff were done in 2023, but it was mostly everything else was done in 2022. This is where I actually started doing 2023 stuff. We got Rosalie, Rosa, and Madeline, like sort of their height difference. Originally, they're all supposed to be the same height, but there's some reasons that they're all different heights. Like, she wears high heels a lot of the time. I'm not going to tell anything about her. Um, this is Penny. Uh, she's just this random frog thing I made on Picru. Uh, I like this in this sketch of her. I don't like this. Bad. <laughs> uh, this page is very chaotic and makes little to no, it makes no sense. But on the back, it's a whole bunch of markers, just like crappy markers that I was testing out because I want to get rid of a whole bunch. And then over top, it's a whole bunch of sketches I've done. I didn't actually do this one. Somebody else did. So, um, and I just stuck them over top. It's really hard to see all of them, but we got, we got Princess Luna. We got Octavia. We got mm, Mabel, Rainbow Dash. This is Dwayne. This is my friend's rock. She has a pet rock named Dwayne. I forget what kind of rock he is, but she drew that. Um, I forget her name. That's Heather. It's me, Heather, Heather, Princess Luna, Rosalie, Heather, Spider-Man, Rosalie, no idea, Heather, uh, these are the same character. I forget her name. <laughs> this is a very boring page. I've got some character design for character. He's actually a key. This is... This is his, uh, technically his final form. He has a pin in his back because I hang him up on my wall. This is made out of clay, I made it. His name is Val and Key. Val N. Key. I just call him Val. Um, it was really fun to make. Uh, I did that in art class, so there's no video. How am I going to put this back on my wall? We also got, uh, 
Uwe McGregor um, uh, in a sort of Jesus pose. <laughs> You'll know him from Star Wars, along with random stickers. So we got some moth persona redesigning. This is when I changed the outfit. It's also when I had longer hair. I do actually like this sketch with the hair a little bit longer, but I have short hair, so. Uh, this is my band teacher. I randomly drew him in class one day, and I drew a whole bunch of really bad instruments along with the Joe Biden sticker. <laughs> oh, we got some character design. This is an alien cat girl that I'm maybe making into something for another video. Can you guess what it is? Probably, probably not. I don't know. Uh, we got some more random sketches. At the end, I kind of gave up a little bit. But got my angel character. We got a raccoon astronaut. Got this random person that I saw on the bus that had like a sort of witchy outfit, so I drew them. Um, this was a design for one of my doll's outfits, and then, um, didn't work out. In the last page, we got Rosa in another alternate outfit. This is where she gets pants. <laughs> uh, she, I thought, I think she looks like a blacksmith, so I drew her as a ba blacksmith. That's all I can say. Is there anything in the pocket? No, there's nothing in the pocket. Yep, but that is my sketchbook 31. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.